Hello and welcome to the crooked leg tutorial. You know, I found this table on the internet and here this image shows exactly what I was looking for, the right uh, you know, angle for the leg. Now let's start by setting your units to centimeters. Start making a box that measures four by four and for the height since the leg includes the height of the uh, the drawer, then I estimated that it's going to be about 72.4. On the front view, add a plane. Make sure the height of the uh, plane is the same as the box. Let's add a material with the image of the leg. And edit to this. Uh, by cropping very close to the edges of the uh, of the leg. Apply the crop and make sure it shows on the screen. Change this to default uh, shading. Now select the box and turn it 45 degrees. Now we need a helper, a small rectangle that's the same width of this uh, turned leg and use this to size the, uh, the width of the leg in the image. Okay, now we can start drawing a curve line along the edges of the leg. Make sure Bezier is on and then uh, stop, start the uh, Click and drag to trace the image. It's not clear where the edge is here, but uh, you know, it doesn't have to be that accurate either. You can edit this curve later. On the right side, start straight here first, then start curving around here and then trace this as accurate as you can. Now select the two lines and place them over the box. Align the right edge here and change the view to wireframe. Now convert the box to an editable poly and select these uh, edges and add one more segment on each using connect. Now select each level of the vertices and size it to match the uh, edge of the curves. You can type WR to quickly access the edit modes. To make sure the leg stays square, to make sure, select this triangle to change the size. You just have to be as accurate as you can. This method uh, works very well for all types of crooked legs like this, as long as they do not twist around. But if they did, you can always add the twist as well. The more segments you use, the, the smoother the leg is going to be, of course. Or you can add control lines and use tur turbo smooth. You know, you can add lines like uh, chamfer and etc. So on the top view, you can see the nice curve here and that every level is perfectly square. After you finish editing, spin the leg back to its original position and you can start making the, the rest of the table. As for the leg, this is all you need to do. In the example of the uh, internet the table overhangs just a little bit like this and I estimate the overhang is about four centimeters on uh, both sides. So you can follow this 
sample to complete the top of the uh, table. Okay, these lines are for the table braces. It's supposed to be a little bit on the edge here. You can look at the image on the internet or your source to see where to place this, uh, this table edge. Now you can select these polygons and extrude them about 9.6 centimeters. Now, once you're done with this, if you need a separate drawer, you can draw that, like in this example. Make sure the, uh, this drawer uh, front is slightly smaller than the uh, braces, because as it moves in and out, it needs some space, such this space you see here in the, between the top. So we're done here. All you have to do is add some materials and test the final. Well, I hope this helps making crooked legs on your models. Thanks for watching and see you soon.